Soon, Apple will be releasing macOS Big Sur, and with it comes the biggest facelift to macOS since the release of macOS 10 back in 2001. Love it or hate it, macOS will start borrowing the design language of iOS, including iOS's boxy icon style. However, icons are one of the few things in macOS you do have the power to customize. In macOS, you can change the icon of any app, file, or folder to further personalize your computer. In short, it's as easy as copying and pasting. Start by finding the picture you want to use as a new icon and open it in Preview, macOS's default photo viewer. Use a keyboard shortcut Command-A to select the picture and Command-C to copy the picture. Now, navigate to the app, file, or folder that you want to change its icon and select it. On your keyboard, type Command-I to open the Get Info window. Get Info will tell you all sorts of information about the selected file, but what we want to focus on is the icon. If you click on the icon in the top left of the Get Info window, you will see a blue outline appear around it. Now that the icon is selected, use a keyboard shortcut Command-V to paste the picture, and that's how you change an icon. If you don't like how it turned out, you may want to make some adjustments all of which you can do in preview. One thing you can try is cropping the image to focus more on the subject. To crop, use a keyboard shortcut Command-A to select the image, then use the blue dots around the image to select the parts you want to keep. Once you've made your selection, use a keyboard shortcut Command-K to crop the image. Under the Tools tab, there are many other properties you can play with, such as color adjustments, size, and annotating. Play around with it and design your icon exactly how you want it. Then repeat the steps for changing an icon. Since the early days of Mac OS X, you've been able to customize your icons however you like. And now, it's time for you to get creative. Thank you so much for watching. If you're leaving with more questions and answers, leave those in the comments below. Also check out the links in the video description for more on this topic, including links to our website, appleguideweb.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and keep up to date with the latest happenings at Apple Guide by following at Apple Guide Web on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Find our Apple Guide podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts. And once again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.